Good morning, Odoers. My name is Jose Ignacio. Today, we're going to take a look at the Expenses app. Expenses allow our employees to submit expenses, and managers assess the expenses to see if they qualify for reimbursement. For example, we will reimburse a fancy lunch if it was with a client to discuss furniture that they're looking to purchase for a whole new office. But we will not reimburse that new suit that you bought to attend that lunch. We got to make that distinction here. So what does the concept behind the Expenses app mean? Well, someone pays for an expense, either an employee or the company, an employee then logs each expense they incur and places all related expenses on an expense report. The expense report is submitted and a manager or someone with proper permissions reviews the report. They decide to either approve or refuse the expense report. If approved, the expenses are reimbursed back to the employee if they had originally paid. If the expenses are related to a customer's project and the customer has agreed to pay for any expenses, the expenses are reinvoiced to a customer. And, well, that's it. That's the whole workflow. Now that we know how expenses work, let's see how we can email expense records. So here we are on the main expenses app dashboard. Let's look at the necessary configurations by going to configuration and then settings. So the expenses section right here is where I define how expenses are submitted and handled. The incoming emails option allows receipts to actually be emailed to this alias down here below and an expense record as well, well, it's already created. I already had this activated, but I wanted to make sure. If you don't, make sure you hit save. Keep in mind, you need to purchase a bunch of credits if you want to use this feature. So check out the documentation on that. I'm going to link that below for you. Anyways, don't forget once again to save. So next, I want to take a look at our currently configured expense categories. So let's click once again on configuration and expense categories. All of these are the default categories that are pre-configured inside of the Odoo Expenses app. These categories mostly capture everything that's usually expensed by my team. If not, I can always use the expenses one that is pretty generic right there. It's general. That's why it says gen. Stealthy Wood recently offered their employees a whole week off for training to encourage development in their area of expertise. We allow them to take classes, attend lectures, read books, anything that could help them advance. More often than not, employees I have happen to have to pay in advance for training related expenses and then ask to be reimbursed like I am right now. I'm actually on location taking an intensive weekend long course on new upholstery techniques in the garment district of New York City where any fabric can be found. Since we are hopefully going to see more training related expenses, let's create a new expense category that I and my fellow coworkers can use. I'm going to start by selecting new over here in the top left and we're going to enter this one. So here we have our product name field. I'm going to type in Training. Okay. I know, I know, this is not a product. That's just how the database sees it. Everything is a product. All right, so the cost field. I'm going to leave this blank since this will be updated to reflect what the employee paid when they create an expense record. If I entered the value, the employee would only receive that amount no matter what they paid. So then we have the reference field. This is a code that shows me what category this is, and it's reflected in our accounting journals. This also determines how those email subjects should be formatted. When emailing a receipt to make an expense record, this is important. And in that case, I'm going to enter train. Okay. There we go. Nice and descriptive. All right, now we have category list. And this happens to actually list all available categories configured in the sales app. But if it's not installed, the default options are either expenses, goods, or services as well. So I'm going to select all slash expenses. Okay. And this is always going to be expenses. So I can also enter any details in this guidelines area right here to help employees decide if this is the right expense category to use. So I'm going to tell them classes. We're going to be very specific courses, lectures, or books. I'm going to pay for everything. Now we are on to our invoicing section below. This determines if and how an expense is reinvoiced to a customer. Since training related expenses will always be paid for by Stealthy Wood, we're going to select no. There we go. Next, we happen to have our expense account. I'm going to select for ours. Hope it loads. There we go. That's our account right there. This means that anytime I pay an employee back for training, it will be logged on the expenses account. Next, over here, we have purchase taxes field. I'm going to leave this blank since I do not want to factor taxes into this expense. And last, if we wanted to, we can actually add our own little image right there. If you happen to have one, I'm trying to decide if I do, and I do. 
Perfect. Remember, that little pencil lets you edit it or upload it, and the trash can deletes it. Okay, now that we made a new expense category, I just want to show you one that's configured a little differently. So we're going to manually save, and then we're going to go back to our expense categories list by selecting our breadcrumb. I'm going to select mileage, because remember, this one is for cars. So if we look at this form, we can see that there's an amount inside of the cost field. Remember, this field is left as zero when we don't know yet what something costs, like a meal or airfare. In the mileage expense category, this says $1.50. That means that when someone submits an expense for mileage, they will be reimbursed $1.50 for each mile. You can also change this if you happen to use the better version of units. Okay, now that my settings and expense categories are configured correctly, I can email an expense. So let's pretend I'm in my hotel room and I have a stack of receipts with me from buying materials. Lunch, grabbing a taxi, you get the idea. I don't want to manually enter all this information. Plus, I'm gonna have even more receipts tomorrow. So to save time, because I don't have PDFs of these receipts, I'm going to use my cell phone over here and email them to the expenses email alias and create my expense records that way. It's less work for me since all I need to do is update some information afterwards. Okay, oh doers, humor me here. Pretend this is a laptop and the laptop is my phone. So let's go do that. Okay, so I have an email already set up with an email drafted and ready to go, as you can see right here. So the email address above is the email alias configured to send expenses to. Now I need to add a subject using the reference that we talked about and the cost in the subject line. As you recall before, this is train. And then the total for the receipt, which happens to be 272.19 cents right there. Okay, now we can move on. I've already attached my receipt below from the NYC Upholstery Academy. And inside of the body, I'm just going to write up upholstery. Not how do you spell that? Class. Okay, there we go. I'm going to select send for this now. Great. Off it goes. So here we are back over here inside of Odoo, and there it is over here at the top. I know it says food right now, but like the other entries, let's make sure everything is correct. So we're going to click into here. All right, I'm going to update this description to the actual course that it was. Let's go back over here. All right, perfect. So now when I go back to my expenses, we can now see it updated, and I can see my newly created expense right over there with everything, including our actual email body, the PDF right there. Ah, and that's it for this tutorial. We learned how to configure our database to accept emailed receipts, added a new expense category, emailed the receipt, and updated an expense record. Stay tuned for my other expenses tutorials. Till next time, don't lose your receipts.